Hi everyone, in today's video I'm sharing how we painted our concrete floors in our basement. It was a lot of work, but it was definitely worth it. After I removed the carpet, there was a lot of adhesive left on the concrete, so I found the easiest way to remove it was to simply spray it with water and then peel it off. Now there were some spaces that the glue just wasn't coming off, so I bought this totally awesome cleaner from Dollar Tree and I just diluted it a little bit with water and then used a scrub brush and scrubbed it away on the floor and then scraped it off with the paint scraper and that was the easiest way to get those really stuck on glue pieces that just wouldn't come off any other way. We had some nails that were left in the concrete and they do not come out with just a hammer. You have to have specific tools. So what we found worked the best was a nail remover, just a small one, and then also a rubber mallet. So he hammered the nail remover into the nail as far as he could with the rubber mallet and then just applied a ton of pressure on it oh and the nails popped right out. We were left with crevices and little holes and cracks in our cement, so I bought this crack and patch repair from Walmart, and you have to add water to it and then mix it up. And it's really kind of a mess. I actually recommend using something that's already pre-mixed and so that you don't have to mix it yourself. This also dried out really fast on me, so I definitely would not use this again. So I just followed the directions on the package and filled in all of the cracks and holes. The last step before painting is to clean and etch your floors, which I use this Rust-Oleum Quick Prep 3-in-1 from Walmart. And I did open up the windows just because I wanted good ventilation. And then I also wore some safety glasses and some gloves just to make sure that I was being safe. And then um, I just followed the directions on the package. So the first thing that you need to do is wet the cement down and you don't want any standing water. You just want it to be damp. And then you pour the etching and cleaning product onto the floor using a watering can. And then after that, you're going to scrub the floor with water and a scrub brush. What it does is it cleans the surface and it also etches the cement so that you don't have a super smooth surface and that way the paint will adhere better to the concrete and um, your paint job will last longer. Once you've used the etching product on the entire floor, then you need to go back and just use plain, simple water and rinse and scrub three times just to make sure there is no product left on the floor. And then you are finally ready to paint. I wanted to keep my paint choices really simple, so I just used this grab and go from Glidden at Walmart, and it's in the light gray color.
After trimming out the edges with a paintbrush, I got out my roller and I had originally just poured the paint onto the floor because I had seen that suggested, but I ended up putting it in a tray because I just felt like I was going to go through the paint really quickly this way and I felt like I could just stretch the paint a lot further if I poured it in the tray. So that is what I did to finish out the rest of the painting. So I have to tell y'all, this project took over a month to complete from start to finish, ripping out the carpet and just getting the final coat of paint on, and it was totally worth it. I'm so happy that we did it. And now it's time for me to finish decorating this basement. We are redoing the whole thing. I still have to put the baseboards up and paint the trim and then just add in a new rug and some furniture and decorations. So I will be sure to share that update with you when it gets done. But I hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you decide to paint the concrete in your floor of your house or your basement, let me know. I would love to hear how it goes. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.